you're either watching this just after opening weekend or officially with the actual launch of MLB The Show. So I thought I'd go through really quick and just show you the best settings you can run in the game. So we're going to start with batting and base running. And I love strike zone high. You can also run strike zone two. I feel like these are the two best settings for like being somewhat near the strike zone and not overwhelming you like strike zone one would be or too far away like strike zone three. So strike zone two and strike zone high. In play camera, this changed this year. I used to run uh, broadcast for a while. I now run medium. It looks fantastic. You will not regret it. If you not only want to enjoy the full scope of MLB The Show, but also just enjoy the game a little bit more than you would with timing or directional, zone is the way to go. And going into my settings here, PCI Anchor, I talk about that in my batting tips video and all of this in my batting tips video as well. But just settings wise, we're going to go over the plate uh, coverage indicator on PCI Center Diamonds, Inner Off, Outer Off, Color Cyan. But if you're playing on the very high difficulties and you feel like you're struggling, this is where I bring in outer reverb and you make sure that fade out is on none so it stays there. But that setting is only for like the super high ratings. Going into pitching, you're going to have pinpoint on. You're going to have strike zone three or strike zone two as your pitching view. Now, you might be like, I want to see the pitcher in a broadcast view. If you're playing on or offline, that's great. But online, um, I really feel like it's beneficial. I also talk about this in my hitting tips video and my pitching tips video for that matter. But uh, to keep the same view so that your brain gets like that muscle memory of registering pitches the whole game. So strike zone three, you want ball marker to be on. You don't want it to be on a fade because if you're new and you're trying to locate pitches the last thing you want is that pitch to go away so pitch trail on and that's pitch settings and i'm going to page through all this on fielding but i'm going to talk about a little bit button accuracy you absolutely want to be on you want throw meter to be on you want in play defense to be dynamic you want throw canceling to absolutely be on i talk about that in a later tiktok but these are all my fielding settings here now talking about your audio video settings. So these are the settings that I would run if you consider yourself a content creator or a streamer. Um, you're gonna be talking just as much as these commentators would. So it doesn't make sense to have multiple audio going on. So this is what I would run if you're a content creator. And if you're just someone playing the game, the new commentary this year is actually fantastic. Um, I love the sound effects though. That's like perfect perfects and like bat sounds. You want to have that turned up as loud as you can, as well as the crowd. Very immersive this year. But those are two different settings for two different groups of people. Make sure you listen to whichever one I was talking about for your perspective. And lastly, I want to talk about cross-platform play because at the surface, you might say, I want this off, but I want to talk about the two reasons why you want it on and off. So that when you're going to the vaults and you're looking up logos, you're looking up rosters, stadiums, whatever, like all the creative side of the game, you want cross-plat to be on so that your friend who's on Xbox, you can get the top downloaded stadium that happens to be on the Switch, You can, or not on the Switch because they don't have it, but on the Xbox, you can get... You want to expand your creativity, so make sure cross plats on for this. But online play, I personally would have it off. Um, one of the issues that we've seen from last year, now this year seems like a good launch so far, but uh, you can always run it a little bit more lag when you're playing against someone on a different console. So for that perspective, Switch, Xbox, PlayStation, have cross plat off so you only match with people from your console. If you are on the Switch and you have cross plat off, I will tell you your matchmaking will be a lot smaller. But that quickly wraps up my best settings video for MLB The Show 22. I'm posting a ton of other tips, videos, and gameplays literally every single day. So if you're not sub, please do so. And if you like all that kind of stuff, click on my channel and go watch it. There's a lot of really good videos there, but appreciate you watching this one. Uh, just one more thing, um, in the description of the video, I will be putting my link to my batting tips video, my pitching tips video, my uniform tutorial video, and then all my other gameplays are in separate playlists on my channel, but feel free to watch those at your earliest convenience. But all those tips, again, will be in the description, along with Diamond Dynasty tips, which are there as well. But again, thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next video.